Hey guys, Blade Junkie here with an Equinox tutorial for you. Some things you'll need to know before learning the Equinox are fanning, you'll have to be able to do a single vertical chaplain, you'll have to know how to do the full twirl, and the Murnax ladder would definitely help. For this tutorial, I'm going to break the Equinox into four parts. So we have part one, part two, part three, and part four. Okay, so first off, you want to start out holding the safe handle, and you'll just be holding it uh, between your thumb and forefinger just like this, and you want to flip it out, so it'll be out like this, and then you do a single roll back, like that, and uh, you want the handle about like that, and then you just fan it twice, so it goes down into that position with the spine of the blade up against your... Uh, index finger here. So here's what we got so far. Flip it out, roll back, double fan, and it's done in this position. So that's step one. And there's two different ways you could do part two. There's the easy way, which is what I did while I was learning this trick, because the harder way is, I don't know, fairly harder if you're not very good with the Murnax ladder. Uh, so the easy way would be to put your index finger right here and flip the bite handle up onto your index finger and the blade will rotate around and you catch the safe handle here and then you just continue the rotation with the momentum and flip it up like that and you'll be ready for part three. Now for the hard or the correct way to do it. You start in this position Rem, I believe, uses his ring finger. I find it easier to use the middle finger. Uh, it's doing the same exact thing, it's just using a different finger. So I recommend the middle finger, but you can use whatever, uh, whatever works for you. So what you do is you twist it around like this, like you would a twirl. And it'll fall like this, and you flip it up. Pull your index finger out of the way so it'll rotate around your middle finger like this and then you catch the safe handle with your index and your thumb and pull your middle finger out and with the momentum you continue if I can get my arm out of the way you continue just like that until you're in this position uh, it might take some practice like I said it's helpful if you're good with the Murnax ladder otherwise it'll look sloppy like this if you're not so if you can do it smooth, I mean that's not 100% smooth, but that's about as good as I can do it right there. If you can do it smooth, great. It'll look pretty good. So anyway, that's step two. Now on to step three. Okay, so we're starting here. And a tip I can give you for this is the further down the handle your index finger is, the easier this part is because one thing I noticed is if I was too far up, uh, it'll pinch my ring finger here. Uh, it doesn't really interfere with the trick, it just kind of hurts after you pinch yourself a few times. So, um, a way to avoid that is just be further down on the handle and it makes it a little bit easier to do this. So you flip it down onto your middle finger like that, so the spine of the blade comes down and hits it. And then you put your ring finger right here, so that when you flip the bite handle back up, it'll stop on your ring finger like that. Then you pull your index out, and then you twist it uh, this way just like a twirl and you want to have your index right here for the next part because you twist it around like a twirl and it'll end up just like this on your index finger and this is where the single vertical chaplain comes in so what you want to do is it'll come around let's see starting like this it comes around onto your index you do a single vertical chaplain and stop it there and you'll be in this position ready for part four. Okay, so now we're ready for part four. Uh, all these twirls for part four are just pretty much a modified full twirl, so you could do it vertically, it doesn't really matter, but that's not how the trick was meant, so I'm just saying it's no different than a full twirl, really. Uh, 
I mean, it's a little bit harder because you have to do it at different angles, but it's no big deal. Uh, so the first one's going to be horizontal. So from this position here, you're going to twirl it just like you normally would. And it'll come around like this into the open position. And then with that momentum, you bring the knife around like that. And you want to have your ring finger ready because you're going to flip it over your ring finger just like that. And have your pinky ready as well because after you flip it over your ring finger, you're going to grab it here. And with the momentum from flipping it over your ring finger, you're going to pull these two fingers out, your index and your middle finger. You want to pull those two out and with your pinky and your ring finger, finish the rotation around like that. So you'll be in the full twirl starting position except you'll be using your pinky and your ring finger. From here, let's see, we're going at this angle. So it's sort of like a triangle. You start horizontal, then the next flip goes like that, and the last flip goes like that. So from here, you flip it around like a full twirl. The blade will come spinning around your pinky. And I think a common misconception here is you're going to catch it like this. I mean, of course you can, but I find it easier to do it otherwise. And what I mean by that is it'll come around, spin around your pinky, and I keep my ring finger just like this until the very end where I'll put it in the position. So I keep my ring finger like this, and as it spins around my finger, I've got my ring finger here, and I pull my pinky out just like that. And I kind of catch the handle with these two fingers here, my middle and my index finger. And then, you know, I'll be holding it like this. And I just kind of put my ring finger in like that. Uh, so you really don't have to even catch it like this as long as you end the trick like this just by moving your ring finger over like that. I found it was easier just to do it uh, this way. So catching it like that's kind of hard and awkward. Don't be afraid to use your thumb. Just, I don't know, I found that to be easier too. Those are really the only tips I can give you. The only part that's really hard to explain is the catch. So, sorry if I didn't explain it very well. That's the best I can really do. Uh, if you need any other tutorials, I highly suggest uh, Calvination's channel or Cutlery Lover's channel. And I'll have a link to both of those channels in the description. So, uh, one more time, here's what the trick looks like. See that? Some product placement. You're welcome, Pepsi.